Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn how to make waffle chart in Tableau. For this, we will be using sample Superstore dataset and an Excel spreadsheet as a separate dataset. So let's get started. As you can see here, we have created a waffle chart for four different regions, East, West, South and Central. So how we build this one. So first of all, we will create a data set in an Excel spreadsheet. So for each of the grids from one to 100, we will create 100 rows with row column, column column, and percentage column. So each of this combination between row and column represent one grid and the corresponding percentage for that grid. So you will see here from one percentage to 100 percentage at the end of the row. So this we will be using as a sample data set in an Excel spreadsheet which we will blend it with sample Superstore data sets. So let's get started with a brand new Tableau workbook. So first of all we will go to the data tab and create a new data source and we will connect to Microsoft Excel and connect to the Excel spreadsheet which we just created. So once the data is loaded, we can use it as an extract, data extract. And once it's loaded, we will go to the sheet, save it. And then we will convert the column and the row measure values to dimensions. And then we will drag column to the column shelf and row to the row shelf. And you will see here, we will have a 10 by 10 grid, but we haven't placed anything in the measure value, so it's like that. So let's bring percentage into text column and you will see the percentage came into all these grids. Let's change the format of this percentage value and convert it into percentage with zero decimal places. And you will now be able to see all the percentage from one to 100. But normally it depends on an individual how they want the percentage to be displayed. Some prefer to be at the top left corner and some prefer number one percentage at the bottom left corner. So that we can change it by just clicking on the row shelf and change the sort order and do it descending. Sort, uh, do the sort in a descending order and you will see that the percent one is at the left corner of the grid. So this is how we get the 10 by 10 grid. Now we want to bring another data set where we want to show the percentage. So let's bring new data source, sample superstore, and let's use profit ratio as a value. If we drag profit ratio directly into colors, you will see an error message which will come because we haven't blended the data set. So in this case, nothing happened. And if we want to get the data in the right format, we need to do the blending. Either we can go here and edit the blended relationship, or in this case, what I will use is, I will remove both of these um, builds and go to waffle chart and create a new calculated field where I will say, let's say, um, color, color box, and I will say here, uh, profit ratio is greater than equal to the percentage. And we want it as a sum because that's the aggregate value. So now we got a valid calculation and then we bring this color box into color and you will see how it works and it's showing us the percentage of profit ratio. So now it is not aligned properly. So for this, what we will do, we will just type in one in the column shelf and change it to average. And you will see it's aligned properly now and we want the axis to be a fixed axis from 0 to 1 so in this case it's automatic so we just double clicked on the axis 
and we change it to fixed and change it to one and you will see here it's aligned properly now but still you see it as a rectangle so we will fix that by just hovering over to this one and dragging it on the left hand side and it will try to come up try to drag it till the time you get a square and you can hide the headers you can hide all these headers titles you don't want it so you can do a bit of more formatting remove all the headers and you will see it here and in the color shelf you can bring the borders if you want you can do it as white and you can right click and do more formatting by removing the row dividers and column dividers and you can increase the size to get a proper square in this case and you can align it so now we got the waffle chart but we don't know what percentage this chart is showing so in this case you can see by counting the number of boxes that it's close to 12 percent so how we can display that so for that we will bring the profit ratio from the sample superstar data set into the tail column and you hover over to the center of this section on the waffle chart right click on that and go to annotate and mark there and remove all the tool tabs and just keep the profit ratio there and you can increase the size of the profit ratio and let's keep it 18 and you can change the color if you want or you can keep it consistent it will show you 12 percent but now you see the shading on in the background for 12 percent we can format further by right clicking on that go to format remove all the shadings you can remove the line in there and you can just adjust where you want it to be seen in the center you can just double click and align it at the center so this is how it will look like. You can also change the colors. For example, the false value, you want to keep it uh, a bit dull. So you can select the gray color and you can change the color to your liking. So in this case, it will look like that. And this one, you can again bring more filters. So for example, in this case, from the sample superstore data set, we want to bring the region and the filter section and we can check uh, for all different regions. So for example, if you want to see the central region, we click on central, it will change the percentage. Now we can do the similar thing for other regions. We can create a duplicate sheet in this scenario. And let's say we want to do this one for a east region. We go to the region filter, edit filter and select east. And that way you can see the waffle chart showing the percentage for east region. And for example, if we want to add further filter criteria, let's say category, we want to see the percentage of profit ratio for East region in terms of category, we can just bring the category and drag it into filter shelf and just select, let's furniture in the scenario, and you will see it's only 1% is the profit ratio. But what if we want to bring office supplies into it? 11% and technology 13% so that way we can bring any um, dimension into the filter shelf or into the measures uh, or, or the measure into the uh, ratio value to compare the ratios and represent it to it into the waffle chart so that way we can bring all of these different charts which we created and in into the dashboard and we can display it in different formats that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this session for more such videos please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned catch you next time thank you